Do you remember this day? Yeah, that was um, my first ever game. It was a friendly against Bowes up in the Abbottstown. It would have been my first game in seven or eight months. And uh, I remember it was the coldest night ever up in Abbottstown. And I played 45 minutes and yeah, just felt back. Like, you know, you get that. It's, it's a great feeling when you come back from an injury, a long-term one. And I remember that night, I was delighted going home that I got through it. Was your first game in Tulsa? Against Cabin Teeley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played terrible that night. We got beaten 3-2. It was crap. And um, that's what I'm talking about. Ian Morris stuck with me after, after games like that. The season launch in the Aviva with me. My old pal there, Boydie. He looks better in the Shells kit now. So um, I remember uh, I remember just being delighted he was there because I didn't know anyone else there, I don't think. And I got the pal around with him for the day. Are you sentimental? Do you keep much from your career? No, I have I have my Bose European jersey in the attic, the Rovers European jersey, one or two of them maybe, Shells 100 jersey. I give everything away. I've given away my medals, um, give away all my jerseys really. No, wouldn't wouldn't be sentimental about that stuff. We have to get a few of them back to you. <laughs> this night? Yeah, yeah, that's the one up in Drada. After the third goal maybe. And you know you've won the league and you've won the game and that's just pure elation really, jumping on the crowd. Uh, still remember it like it was an unbelievable feeling. Yeah, uh, that's obviously the, the next week, isn't it? We beat Limerick, Limerick and we got the medal. Yeah, 7 now. so another great night. Um, I think we had a thing on the club that night for friends and family and it's, you know, look back on it very fondly. Team of the year. Team of the year. Yeah, that was it was um, that was great to be. Uh, I suppose put in the team and, and uh, get the award and, and go and put the suit on. Um, it's just the icing on the cake, really. After winning the league, there's a picture we might see more of over the next few years. It's the Gaffer's first game. It's the friendly against Bray out in the AUL. It's the most attended underage friendly ever, I'd say, because people knew the manager was taking over. So. I can't remember how the game went, but um, obviously the start of a great um, journey for the manager to the club. 2020, happy memories at the start, certainly. Yeah, beating Finn Harps away. Um, had 10 men for 80 minutes. Rainstorm coming down all night, and it was a great 1 0 win away from home. Uh, you love those ones as a defender, particularly. Big challenge in Sligo. Yeah, yeah. We lost that game, but I, I remember. I, I, I've seen that photo since. Um, that's that's uh, that's the best part about football: and tackling, heading, blocking. My favourite thing. You've done some damage tackling: the ankle, wrist, both gone in tackles, knees and tackles. Yeah, yeah, all of them in tackles. But look, that's that's part of the game. Yeah, the second of the three reds. My friends still remind me that I broke records there for three reds in four games. Which is just crazy looking back on it. Like it's crazy. I couldn't believe I got that one. It was two yellows, wasn't it? That was straight red. Straight red? Yeah, they were two of them were straight reds, but still maintain that was never a red card, but anyway, I got it. There's the other one. There's the third of, of three. Is that the so lowest point? Is that's that the, the lowest point of my career there, right there, yeah. Probably that and doing me crucia in Cork. But yeah, they're the two. Just couldn't believe it. First half. COVID season, no one in the ground. Like obviously the, the implications of winning winning that game, losing that game were massive for the club. And I just felt like all we had done all we had done the year before to get up. For me to do that in the, the biggest game of the season as the captain was it that was I just couldn't get my head around it. You know, that took me a while really. Um it's, and it's not the reason, but that's you know, after that there was no way I was ever gonna leave the club, you know. I think I had a responsibility to to fix what I'd done there and, and try and fix it anyway. You had a couple of Premier Division offers to stay in the Premier that year. Yeah, but you know, you couldn't couldn't walk away after that. You know, we would be, I don't know, I think I've said before you'd have no honour. I just wouldn't wouldn't sit right. I don't know if my family would have let me, even if I wanted to. That's the truth, you know. It's just not what you do when you've fucked up like that, to be honest. What are the few hours after that game like? Like, how tough were those few hours? Oh, I went home and I couldn't even I couldn't even go in the house. I had to park the car before I got home and rang a few people. To be honest, Joey O'Brien rang me, spoke to me. That helped me a lot. 
Um, he's, he's always someone who I'd speak to in times of need. Um, but he, he had a phone call with me and just reminded me that there was, you know, bigger things in the world than football. And, you know, he had serious low points and he'd come back from them and I could do the same. So that, that definitely helped. Yeah, and those, that's um, Davy Max kids, who would be a very close friend of mine from our playing days. And obviously, he's been here now a few years, and they're his young fellas, Cale and Rian. So um, I was delighted when himself and his missus asked me to lead them out when we were getting the trophy. Um, they seemed to love it, and it was just a bit of a party atmosphere in Talca. And I couldn't wait to lift the trophy as, as captain. All my family were there and friends, so that was a great night as well. What kind of response was it to go from, you know, what happened in Inchicore, the red card, relegation, to then having the armband put on you? What did that show the club? Yeah, look, it's, it was Ian Myers put his faith in me. Um, big time, yeah, he backed me. I mean, I suppose I, maybe I needed it. Um, I just came back for that pre-season, though, for the, for the next year. Motivated. Um, typically, I came back injured. I actually got injured in that game even though I only lasted 20 minutes so I, I was still injured when I came back for pre-season so it was kind of difficult to take over the role of captain while not being on the pitch with a very new team and new coaching staff you know you want to be out there helping the manager kind of knit it together and gel everyone together but he actually did a vote for the captain and um, all the players were ambushed getting out of their cars one by one to, to do a ballot and I won but he told me I would, you know he would have given it to me anyway so um it was it was nice. It was very nice to be um, asked to be captain. It was always something I wanted to do in my career. I was captain of football club, and I got the chance. Yeah, just that's the, that's why you, you you work so hard for really a night like that. Captain of the club, win the league. You're looking at your your dad, your brother, your mates, everybody in front of you, and um, you know I, I loved those photos. To be honest, with that night I, I would look at them quite regularly. Uh, do you have any photos framed? Johnny Watson framed the one for me um, in 2019 with the medal that you showed. Um, other than that, I've never framed any of my own, now. You might start now. You talk about big Dublin derby wins, 2-1 against Pats. Yeah, yeah, and I'd, I thought the ball was going to run out of play a lot quicker than it did, and he, he nearly caught me. And uh, I tried to buy a few seconds by, by grabbing the ball off him, but that was, that was a huge night. That was a great night, you know. 2-1 win in the middle of the season, people might think, oh, what's the relevance of it, but it was... It's just a sign that we were coming, like you know, we were an improving team and um, great memories of you know Dublin derbies that, that you win. You have great memories of them. Yeah, that would be the the end the end of last season out in Tala, and that was when I was really struggling with my knees. Um, I think you can probably see in it the the fluid on them, the size of them. I was full of diphene and um, just had to try and get out there and finish the season and. Um, I do remember struggling particularly in that game, but uh, it's, it's part of the job. It's what you got to do, really. If you were to have a favourite game at Talca, I'd say this is probably in the top three. Top one, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, beating balls in the cup train now. Just a great day. Again, the, the Sunday, the sun, afternoon kick-off. Um, and we really believed we'd get to the cup final that year, so we were obviously one step closer, and it was... Uh, I'd, that was around the time my knee started to get really bad, so I think that was I maybe didn't play the week before and I played that one, and it was uh, it was great. It was great scenes after the match as well. You had some big battles with centre forwards. Any that stick out in your mind? Um, yeah, yeah, there would be like it was fairness. I'd, I played all six games I think against Bowes this year, and would have played against Afalabi and five of them. And he's a big, strong lad who you have a good battle with, and would have had a good few battles with Pat Hoban over the years, so none that, that really stick out. You know, you play against some great players. Um, you know, I'd probably rather play a player like that than someone like Graham Burke. Um, he's a totally different type of player and I was only texting last night, telling him that I retired, I told him he's the best player I ever played with. And um, he's not the kind of player you want to play against, put it that way. And not text him in terms of sign for shells? That's, that text has been sent many times. <laughs> Maybe this will be the year. Yeah, yeah, Davey Mack sent me that a while ago. It's me, him and Sean, who we were at car school going from the north side out to Tala when we played for Rovers. So 
we all became very good friends um, and obviously we're all now together again at Shells and that's just unbelievable. It's, it's hard to put into words what you're feeling in a moment like that. Yeah, uh, the Watsons were very good. They got that jersey made for me on my 100th Shells game this year. Um, it was one of the things Davey Mack said to me. He said, like, when I met him in January, when I thought I was, I was done, he said, have you got any goals you can work towards, like, even short term? And I think I was on 94 games, maybe. And I said, I would love to play for 100 for Shells. And he said, right, but that's, that's what you have to do. What, what are you going to do between now and then? And so it was great um, relief when I got to it. That's one that hasn't been seen before. Yeah, that's just one of the weekly trips to Anthony uh, Hoban's practice, the doctor, to get um, the fluid taken off and, uh, you know, depend on the week because you can only get so many steroid injections. It's probably one of the days where the steroid goes in and you go home and have to put the feet up and um, it just became part of my routine. Yeah, that was when we obviously beat Bowes this year, 1-0. Had a lot of friends there that night as well. And my dad and brother and I think maybe a couple of cousins were in the Riverside. And it was just, yeah, again, it's like a few of the photos you've shown, it's hard to put them into words. But I was trying to show, you know, just what the club meant to me. That's why I grabbed the badge, you know. Um, just, just wanted people to know but yeah, what it meant to me and that it meant as much to me as it does to them. You mentioned the cup final being a particularly proud moment, bringing out that pendant with the armband, the Aviva. Yeah, look, again, the, obviously the memories are slightly tainted because we got hammered 4-0, but as a, as a day and um, what it meant to me to see my family and mates there, um, it was a huge honour and it's something I'll never forget. The last dance? Yeah, my last ever game. And that's the Hoth Reds flag who my mate brings to the game so Paul Amani? No Sean O'Kelly. You need to get Paul Amani. Yeah yeah um, so Sean I'm sure he'll be watching this he got that flag made and he threw it onto me and maybe I knew it was the last uh, time I'd be out there so I grabbed Boyd and Coiler who spend a lot of time out in my house and have done so I think my dad said that they're two adopted Hoth men so I made sure they held it up at me. No one better and look a final one. Yeah that's that's the that's the uh what it means to me really it's just to, to be the captain of shells the, the greatest thing i think i've ever done and the thing i'm most proud of so um no regrets you know i gave my career everything i have no regret like i said no regrets the body probably gave up on me but um that's life that's football he's got to get on with it we've asked you this question before but probably a good time to ask it again what does the three castles on your chest mean to you it means everything to me yeah it's the you know it represents the happiest period of my life, you know, a, a place where I've had some of my, my best days, um, a place where I've met people that I'll be friends with for life, you know, I've got friends and family members now who go to the games, so it just kind of encapsulates all that, you know, I've got to meet people in the club, fans over the years that now I'd consider friends, and it's just, it's just you know, when I look back, it's just great memories, you know, there's, there's no negatives, to be honest. It's, um, I'm very, very happy with, you know, the, the, the place the club is in and the dressing room is in when I'm leaving. Um, I think that the timing is difficult to get right when you're retiring, but I feel I've, I've got it right here. Um, I've no doubts about that and the club's in a great place and it's, it's only going to get stronger and the team's only going to get better. I suppose a final word for a couple of thank yous of people that have had an impact on your career at Shells and, and wider afield, anyone you want to spotlight or highlight? Well obviously the, the gaffer is a huge influence on me, uh, has been since the day I met him, someone I, I look up to and um, take inspiration from and you know I, I think I'll be friends with him forever. Um, there's, there's so many, you know, David O'Connor for his role in bringing me to the club I think and what he did for the club, Ian Morris for taking a chance on me. You know, the whole coaching staff now are amazing. Um, Joey O'Brien for being, again, since the day I met him, a huge inspiration of mine, someone I've looked up to and who I've learned so much from him, he'll never even know. And uh, friends, family, 
you know, the classic stuff. I suppose the biggest one had to be my dad. You know, he was my first ever coach. Coached me and my mates' teams when we were five, six years of age. He used to come out in the green with us and set up the games and set up the teams and get us playing ball up and down the country. You know, came away when I played for Ireland, flew away with my family to watch me. And it's just always my biggest fan, really, you know. So he's he, he'd be number one, I'd say.